Welcome to our CrowPy lessons. During these lessons, we'll be introducing 20 how-to-do lessons for the CrowPy. In the first lesson, we'll teach you about the buzzer. So what is a buzzer? A buzzer is basically a module that using electromagnetic frequency, it makes the buzzer buzz and make vibrations, which make a very, very loud buzzing noise. How are we gonna use it? The buzzer have two pins. The first pin is ground which marked as G and D, ground. The second pin is voltage, which we will use it to connect to GPIO 12 pin. So there are only two pins, ground and GPIO 12. Luckily to you, you don't need to connect any pins as we already connected them inside the Raspberry Pi Crow Pi PCB. So how are we gonna use it? Let's go to the Crow Pi and see. So we are back at our ProPi here. As we said before, the buzzer uses GPIO 12. The buzzer is located right here and it's connected directly to our Raspberry Pi. Fortunately, we don't need any special modification to make the buzzer work, so we don't need to change the switches or make anything. It works right out of the box. So how do we actually activate this buzzer? To use the buzzer, we'll use our example file located inside our ProPi folder. To find the file, we'll need to open the crop file folder inside our desktop and find the file called buzzer. Double click on that file and it should open the Python IDE, which will allow us to edit, modify and execute the file. Inside our IDE, we might be able to find our code. Let's go line by one line and see what's going on. The first line, import RPI GPIO as GPIO, means we import the Raspberry Pi GPIO library as GPIO. The second library we import is time. We will use the time library to make it sleep. The, second, the third line will be buzzer pin. We set the buzzer pin for GPIO 12 as the pin inside our Pro Pi. Then we set the GPIO mode into GPIO board. There are two modes for Raspberry Pi GPIO. The first mode is GPIO BCM. The second mode is GPIO board. In all our Pro Pi lessons and for convenient usage, we use GPIO board. So we recommend it. So we recommend you to use it as well. Another line will be GPIO setup. As we need to set up our buzzer pin to be a GPIO out. GPIO out means we send a signal out of the crow pie into the module and not the opposite from the module to the crow pie. The buzzer is output, so we will set GPIO out on the buzzer pin. Then we go into actually activating our buzzer. We send a signal GPIO output to buzzer pin, which is pin 12 as we said before, as GPIO high. GPIO high means to give it 1 and GPIO low means to give it 0. So 1 will activate the buzzer and make a very loud buzzing noise. Then we wait 0.5 seconds, which is half a second, using our function time sleep, which located in the time library, which we imported earlier before. And then we output GPIO output GPIO low to the buzzer pin, which makes the buzzer being quiet. And then the final stage will be to GPIO cleanup, to clean up the GPIO pins and make sure we can start all over again and use other pins if necessary. So after we explain line by line, let's execute the code and see what happens. To execute the code, you need to click on the green button says, that says run current script. Let's click it and see what happens. As you can see, there was a buzzing noise for 0.5 seconds. Let's try to modify it for 2 seconds and see if the buzzing noise can keep louder and longer. As you can see, it was 2 seconds, so it works perfectly normal. You can modify the code, modify the time sleeping interval and see what happens. Play with it for a while and see if you can even make a music or other things using the buzzer. Hope you enjoyed our video and see you in our next lesson.